fun. Hey, thank you. Yeah, I kind of. Very nice to have you here. Hey, it's great to be here. Yeah. I'm, um, yeah, I'm I'm in the building, so that's totally cool. I just got to ride the elevator downstairs because I'm uh -huh. rehearsing Saturday Night Live. That's right. I'm hosting this weekend, and I was prepared to be outdoors because last time I was here, we were outside. We were talking about that earlier. There was a fire. We all got kicked out onto the street. Yeah. You were a real good sport. And in fact, uh, at the time, remember this? We um, we went into Brookstone, the Brookstone store. I remember and I, that, yeah, yeah. And we got that great massaging chair. Which and we, never came to my house, yes. And everybody, we, I met so many people who said, so how's that chair? I go, they didn't send me the chair, man. They were lying. Well, we weren't lying. We're just a real low-budget, cheap show. And we looked into the chair, and the chair costs a ton of money. And then we actually found out, we called the Brookstone people today. We said, Samuel L. Jackson's coming back. He loved that chair. And they said, uh, we'd be more than honored if you got to sit in it To again, supply right? the Brookstone chair, and this time you get to keep the chair. Get out of here. You get to keep the chair. Can we get the massaging chair in here right now? Let's see this. Thank you very much. Put him on like <laughs> high spin. Here All you go. Right. Do you know how to work this thing? Bam! Oh! Hey, ah! <laughs> Ooh! Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's, wait a minute. it's not plugged in. <laughs> That's okay. Whatever it's doing is, is good for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, how is it? You like it? Yeah, I mean, it's happening. That's a fun. That's a fine chair. It's yours now. Thank you. You can take it with you when you go. Oh, man. So I get this chair, if I can get like a box of those uh, silently tearing condoms from you. Uh, uh. <laughs> he's vibrating. <laughs> yeah. He's, uh... What oh, does it wait. do? Now is it... something else is oh, what's happening. Moving. Now, I, I, I just changed the mode. Let's talk about this movie. I saw the movie. Oh, it's did you like yeah, it? yeah. You were great in it. You Thank were you. fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible to have any kind of real interview. Uh, no, 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 not at all. Go ahead. You just keep playing with that. It's going into a leg thing now. I don't want to know about the leg thing. <laughs> oh, come on, man. We don't need to know about everything. Oh, okay. This is you like the color so too. So what you think of Jackie? Let's just talk about the chair. Okay. Uh, no, Jackie Brown. I thought it was great. You were terrific in it. Thank you. You were mean in that movie. Hey. You're a very mean guy. Uh, that was my um. That was my first time playing an absolute villain. Right. You know, I've, I've, I've never had that opportunity, and uh, I was really happy to do that. I mean, Quentin was really good to find a way to transfer the character from the Elmore Leonard novel to the screen right. that way. And it was really great, you know, being on set with Bob You De called De Niro Bob? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to try that sometime. <laughs> but when hey, you're on Bob. set, yeah, yeah you know, that, that kind of works. You, he, everyone, does everyone call him Bob? Uh, no, the PAs call him Mr. De Niro. Okay. Uh, Quentin calls him Bob or right. Bobby, which is right. kind of interesting. I never look at him as a Bobby. Yeah, he's not like a Bobby kind of, hey, no. I'm Bobby kind of no, guy. Yeah. I see him as a Bob, you know, yeah. so that was Bob De Niro's Robert Forster, and we had to make that distinction between Bob and Robert. So right, right. So that worked, and then what Pam. Was, I was curious about, uh, about Quentin, because we've had Tarantino on the show, yeah. and he seems like a real energetic guy. What's he like as a director? Oh, well, he's Mr. Manic when he's on set. Uh, he's like running around, he's describing the scene, he's moving the cameras, he's talking to the lighting guys, he's got loud music playing, and once he says action, we're doing this dialogue, and it's almost like he's never seen it before. He becomes an audience member, because he's standing next to the camera. He doesn't, he, he, uh, doesn't work with a, a monitor in that way, where he lives in the monitor like a lot of directors. He's standing next to the camera, and he'll just laugh out loud in the middle of the tape. So the first AD has to stand next to him to like almost put his hand over his mouth to keep him quiet so we can finish doing what we're doing and then you let him go and then he can laugh. And then when the scene's over, he does he rush out on, uh, right out oh, of the yeah, set? Oh, yeah, he runs right out there. Oh, it was great. Oh, that was great, 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 great. <laughs> this movie is going to be so funny. And so he's, like, telling us the whole time how great the movie's going to be and how uh -huh. great we are. And uh, he's very encouraging. Right. You he's, ever have to say, like, hey, shut up, you know, we're working course, here? Always. You do that? Yeah. Yeah, in the middle of a take, you know, Quentin. Quentin. <laughs> just shut your face. Quentin. Oh, yeah. Or did, you just uh, take a gun and go, Quentin. <laughs> <laughs> did, uh, what, what do you think is, what drives that guy? What's the key to his personality, you think? I think Quentin uh, really, really loves the movie business, mm -hmm. and he always has. And he has a great respect for what's gone before. And he's trying to find a place in cinematic history for himself. 
and his unique vision has absolutely done that for him. Mm -hmm. uh, and he, he obviously likes you. I mean, he keeps using you. He thinks you're fantastic. Well, I would, I would, he writes well for you, too. I would like to think of myself as one of the Tarantino players. And that uh, every time he uh, does a film, I'd like to show up and be in it, you mm -hmm. know, somewhere. You could work something. out a deal that way. No matter what he does, you got to be in it. I guess I could, huh? <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about uh, you, you got cast in the new Star Wars movie. Yeah. That's yeah. exciting. It was, and, it was a bomb. And you're a... Uh, you're a huge Star Wars fan going back to the first movie, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was at the first screening of Star Wars on 44th Street. I was in the very first screening. I was I was there with all these other guys. Everybody was already rolled up. That was during the days I was using. Um, I was. Uh, <laughs> I was. Uh, I don't know up. what you're talking you know, about. I know you don't. I know you, you don't. You brought fruit roll-ups with you. Yeah, of course. Always nice to have a snack. Of yeah. Of course, but uh, by the time uh, they went into warp space on on screen, everybody there was just kind of stuck to their seats like. <laughs> Thing. It was wonderful. It uh -huh. was wonderful. So I have been a fan since then. Uh -huh. And um, <laughs> it really, it didn't matter what movie you were seeing that day, yeah, did it? It did, yeah, totally. I love Chitty Chitty Bang no, Bang. No, 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 no. The no. colors, man. No, 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 no. It <laughs> always matters, Chitty believe me. Chitty Bang Bang is yeah. pretty good. It's pretty mind blowing. You know. <laughs> have you um, seen it recently? But um, last year, somebody asked me if um, there was a director that I wanted to work with. And I usually say, you know, I, I just work with whoever I get a script from, da, da, da. But all of a sudden, it struck me, George Lucas is doing these Star Wars movies. So I started saying, yeah, George Lucas, I'd love to do a George Lucas film. And he heard about it and actually invited me to the ranch. Which He's is got like, this huge ranch, oh, I guess. Oh, it's the bomb. It's yeah. the bomb. Yeah. <laughs> you get out the freeway at Lucas Valley Road. It's that's like, that's a know, sign that things are going that's, well. That's a sign, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you go down and you drive up to this gate, huge. Up Yoda way, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, but, you know, you get there, it's this great ranch, there's all this stuff there, there's like three, four restaurants on the property for the em employees. Right. Uh, there's, he has his own fire department. Um, he has his own fire department? Yeah. That's disgusting. I'm just, <laughs> that's like too much, it's really? Better than having a toy fire engine. He's got some real stuff there. He's got a bunch of guys that sit around and just wait for there to be a fire at his house. Exactly. And yeah. do nothing else. He gets his money worth, you know. He sets a few fires. Yeah. yeah you got something sitting Here around, you're going to use it. Get know? something going. Yeah. And uh, there's a winery on the property, a huge screening room. There's all kinds of stuff there. And his main house is, like, totally fabulous. He created this story that they built the house around. Right. And uh, in the library, he has his own basilica, if you can believe it. And that's a huge stained glass thing in the middle of the library. So it's the nicest house you've ever seen in your life. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Who's this guy that used to do all the uh, things for the uh, Saturday Evening Post, the artist? Uh, Rockwell, Norman Rockwell. Rockwell, yeah. Right, so I'm, I'm standing in the waiting room waiting to meet him, right, and I'm going, wow, look at this Rockwell poster. Oh, ooh, it's, it's real. It's a Rockwell. <laughs> <laughs> and it was wet. Yeah, now I got my hands on it, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to get invited back anytime uh, soon. Yeah, well. uh, I'll mention this. Jackie Brown, it's at theaters now. And congratulations. Golden Globe nomination. Thank you. That's yeah. really exciting. And you're hosting Saturday Night Live this Saturday yes. with Ben Folds 5. Very oh, yeah. cool. Oh, yeah. And uh, you get to, we're going to go to a break, but you can take the chair with you as thank you go. You. Thank we know you, so you got to go. Samuel L. Jackson, thank you so much. Robert Young, Calvin, coming up. We'll be right back.